2018 was Antoine Griezmann at his best. 36 goal involvements in all competitions. For France, he was a World Cup winner in a tournament where he got 6 goals and assists. This unbelievable form got him a move one year later to Barcelona for 120 million euros. In his 3 year spell at Barcelona, he played 102 matches, scoring 35 goals and getting 17 assists. Not particularly bad, but it's not a 120 million euro player. I do think people over exaggerate how bad Griezmann was, but he clearly wasn't the same player. So, in the summer of 2021, he re-signed with Atletico Madrid. Barcelona was the downfall, the return to Atletico Madrid was the revival, and that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. If you do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Griezmann's first season back at Atletico Madrid, it wasn't great. Seven goals, four assists in all competitions. It's really not the best return, that's not what you would call the revival. This season, Antoine Griezmann's played 38 matches, that's including the World Cup, scoring six goals and getting 11 assists. You're probably thinking, that's not great. Someone you would describe as a striker isn't really scoring goals, but I think that's why I haven't said Griezmann isn't back to his best, because I think he's evolved. He's a different player now. At Atletico Madrid, it's always hard to judge a forward, because, well, they're not given that many opportunities. They're not given time on the ball. But you look at the World Cup with France, Griezmann was given the opportunities. He was given the chance to have time on the ball, and he excelled. In total, Griezmann got five assists at the World Cup, joint most with Lionel Messi, who would arguably be the greatest playmaker of all time. Over the course of this season, Atletico Madrid have typically played a 3-5-2 formation. Griezmann does play as a striker, but he plays a little bit deeper, playing as a second striker. Unfortunately enough for Antoine Griezmann, he's been partnered with Jao Felix, who is a very good player, but he's also more of a second striker, so when you don't have a clinical striker up front, it's not going to lead to a lot of goals. What also makes his stats look significantly worse is that on average this season, Antoine Griezmann has only played 60 minutes per match. That's because for the majority of the season, he was coming off the bench. Griezmann struggles from the lack of a proper striker. You look at the World Cup, he had both Olivier Giroud and Kylian Mbappe, though Mbappe was playing off the left. He both provided chances for them and created for them, and it worked. And he was effective at this. Five assists at the World Cup. While at Atletico Madrid, he has Alvaro Morata, who, well, is inconsistent with shots, as we all know, and Jao Felix, who, like I mentioned, isn't a proper number nine. The World Cup was such a beautiful example of how Antoine Griezmann's career can be revived, how he can go back into being one of the best players on the planet. Atletico Madrid don't control possession. It does not allow their forwards to get time on the ball. You put Antoine Griezmann at Manchester City, he has more time on the ball, he gets twice the amount of assists. While at Barcelona, you almost felt like Antoine Griezmann was a waste of space. You don't feel that at Atletico Madrid, but he doesn't get on the ball enough because Atleti don't control the ball enough. But when he does get that rare opportunity at Atletico Madrid to get on the ball, you feel like him more than anyone at that club is more likely to create something. It's clear and obvious he is no longer a striker, but he has every single ability to be a world-class attacking midfielder. He has the technical ability, he's not blessed for pace, but he's relatively quick. And like I've been going on about for this whole video, he's an amazing playmaker. He showed that at the World Cup. Diego Simeone is stepping down as Atletico Madrid manager in the summer, but whoever replaces him, they have to bring in a proper number 9 to rather partner with or for Griezmann to play behind. He's going to start putting up the assists because he has someone to actually pass the ball. You put Kevin De Bruyne at Southampton, he's not going to get the same amount of assists because he has Che Adams up front. Morata isn't a clinical goal scorer, neither is Angel Correa. Atletico Madrid are going to need a proper number 9 and that will get the best out of Antoine Griezmann and that will bring his numbers up and that will show you all how he is back. But let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think Antoine Griezmann has the capabilities to be a world-class playmaker? Let me know what you think in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you are new, by the way. Thank you everyone for 4,000 subscribers. It means the absolute world. Thank you all so much for the support, and I will see you in the next one.